Hi everyone, this is Wanab from Hobby Center, DJ Academy Dubai. Today I'm going to teach you business knowledge of agriculture drone. So you will learn the business of an agriculture drone and it will help you know your device better. So in this module, you will learn what is an agriculture drone and how it works. Then we will focus on each part, remote controller, aircraft, DNS assistant, battery and charging device, and spraying system. First, let me introduce an agriculture drone. So uh, this is our Agras D40 as an example. An agriculture drone is a flying platform for plant protection by its spraying and spreading system. Can spray, spread uh, pesticides and foliar, solid fertilizer and pollination uh, seed and fish feeding and it's operated with a remote controller. So what is good points? Uh, Consight and the mechanical pressure make it spray penetration better. So not like a uh, man aircraft, uh, the, the drone doesn't require any runway. So just take off and land body kelly. And moreover, operation friendly nowadays. So how do you work? So when we check, so remote controller control the aircraft. It flies and spray and spread spray tank or spread tank can be changed easily in one minute in this T14. So we have uh, two application scenario for spray liquid. For spray liquid, uh, uh, you can prevent and control pass spray plant growth regulator and use for pollination. For spreading granule, you can spread seed, fertilizer, and fish feeds. How's the characteristics of the drone? Okay, high efficiency, save 90% of water, safe pesticide, good adaptability to terrain condition. Drone use high pressure nozzle and centrifugal optimization nozzle. So uh, it has fine droplets and should be aware of spray drift in windy condition. Since we use uh, low volume doses, two gallon per acre or four gallon per acre, high concentration, you know, make sure you use secondary dilution method, not to clock any chemical in the system. And the good missing have the spray effectiveness. Secondly, remote controllers, remote controller study. When you hold the remote controller, you will see this. So, two antenna. You will see here two antenna. Um, power button. Um, well, at H is RTA button. Um, battery level indicator. Lights and uh, back button here. Also, you can see there. Um, well, emergency stop. Uh, emergency stop button. Um, the link button here. So one is link. You will see um, uh, and one and two and threes and R one and um, to be defined and also 5D custom button here and the uh, screen app button on the right lower corner. What are the top of the remote controller? Okay. So left to right. You will see left to right. And um, uh, for so for uh, fluid adjustment dial, um, spray spread switch here, and um, the uh, micro SD card slot for input export data and data from Terra like that, and USB port uh, for connecting with uh, other device like uh, charging device, the RDK2 mobile station, your PC things like that. HDMI port for simulator, USB-C port for charging your remo uh, remote controller, and the RPB mode strip is for easily switching while flying and camera and camera adjustment dial. And in China, um, you know, use uh, RDK dongle for high uh, precision planning. However now working in overseas. Uh, now what cut dongle in China use uh, RDK dongle for higher precision planning. 
How about not walking in overseas? T13 uh, come, you know, the white color one in T13 or Alia model and uh, in T14 and in T20B, the small black one. So it's used for uploading, um, downloading uh, the files. In some country, it might be useful, like, depend on your country regulation. In flying drone, make sure which mode you fly. Mode 1 or mode 2 or mode 3. Whenever you fly a new drone, always check this mode uh, first for safety. Check your, you put your antenna in correct way for good signal. Don't point at the drone like in picture trees. The signal is weak at two ends. Thirdly, let's closely look at the aircraft. 4M and 8 motor, 8 rotor with 8 uh, DC brushless motors. First two aircraft uh, start counting C, uh, CCW and CW and each, each M walk uh, CW and CCW together. For positioning, it has two antennas. ESC drives the motors and uh, rotor rotate and get lift force. Two antenna link uh, to the remote controller for controlling the system. To avoid the obstacle, it installs the obstacle widen readers and with the HD camera, you can always see the surrounding. Tank for filling liquid and the nozzle to discharge the spray. T4D also have uh, vision sensors. The sensors and obstacle avoidance radar works together for smooth auto and auto bypass feature. And backward radar make sure good the uh, uh, backward make sure good downward sensing attitude hole with bright LED. Um, you can spray in evening time or nighttime operation. Make sure you know your country laws for nighttime operation. How's the light walking drones? GNSS Global Navigation Satellite System, one with seven satellites and higher. Um, it's middle level accuracy up to 0.8 meter. Real time RTK, real time kinematics, one with many satellites and triangle rule connecting the points, centimeter level accuracy where we achieve sees RTK connecting wheels. It involves satellites, drone, remote controller, RTK signals, RTK base station. Add all these fill to connect, it will automatically switch to GNSS. If you do not use RTK, make sure you do the Combus calibration. Next, we will go to charging device. Generator and charger include because our charger uh, work with the uh, charging system, highly recommend purchasing the GI generator together. Our generator use EFI technology. It detects the charging location elevation and automatically adjusts the charging system for saving fuel. Charging nine to um, 12 minutes. We use DJI intelligent batteries, so higher capacity and make sure you charge at uh, suitable condition. And charge full when you have no job in another 10 days and more. On the 10 day, it will automatically discharge into storage percentage, like 68%, percent, like 68 percentage, um, things like that, to protect the battery solar and damage. T30 batteries can be used for 1000 charging cycle. T40 battery can be used for 1500 charging cycle. Note, uh, one charger, uh, one cycle means 75%. So please try to learn before your battery le level reach 25%. Good practice should be adopted. With T14 together, we will bring the cooling foam. So to cool battery while charging, it will have to improve your operation efficiency. 
uh, okay, uh, our last part is spraying system. What are what are composed? See, we have tanks. See, we have a spray tank to load the pesticide, filters to avoid blocking the system, and pumps to generate flow rate, flow meter to make the accurate flow, bulbs to manage on off the flow, and nozzle to nebulize or spray liquid. As of 2022, we use a uh, pressure nozzle for T13 or earlier models. This year, 2023s, we introduced D14 and centrifugal nozzles. Why? What is different? The centrifugal nozzle can adjust the wider ratio of droplet size. Pressure nozzle have fancy spray pattern. Why centrifugal nozzle produce circular spray pattern? There is no such thing which is better there. If you want a uh, higher pressure to down to downward, use the first one. If you want higher flow rate and wide range of droplet size, go with later centrifugal one. For pumps, we upgrade three generations so far: membrane, plungers, impellers, always to achieve higher flow rate. For load monitorings. We also upgrade three generation as well. Signal, uh, single point level good, continuous level give, floating decks, now wiki sensor. Based on the customer feedback and our experience, we do these upgrades. Scientific system is it's not new. No, it's been introduced back in 1998. In, in drones, some people use uh, four years ago. We tested two years. And after we could upgrade the bus system, we introduced to you in this 2023s. See, see the difference? We use a dual layer or spray tray for uniformity and no drifting liquid. Like before, uh, we don't need to replace uh, the nozzle to achieve the different droplet size. For different application scenario, in centrifugal nozzle, you just let either of these. Extra cools. Coarse, median, fine, extra fine. Of course, you need to have this table for the uh, for the range of droplet size for the user or T13 and older model. The drone use high pressure digital nozzle HR110015, 015, 02, HR flat fan, HR flat fan shape spray, VS stainless steel material. The the first one time being 110 degree. So 01.1 gallon per minute, 02, 015, 0.15 gallon per minute, 02, 0.2 gallon per minute. Fine, median, and coarse. Based on your needs, use a nozzle. This number can be seen on your on your nozzle easily. Go and check, please. The more you understand your device, the better efficiency you could achieve. Thanks for watching my video. I hope uh, you will learn, you know, important first of the business of agriculture drone.